We're talking to musical theater actress Daisy, Daisy Egan. Egan. If you have any questions for Daisy, give us a call at 1-800-336-2225. And Daisy, I wanted to um, ask you something um, about your education. You um, went to Antioch University and studied um, psychology and creative writing. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Is that how you say it? Antioch, yeah. Okay. Okay. And um, how do you feel um, about that um, that education in psychology? Do you use that a lot? Do you find in your um, auditions and in performance and things like that? Um, um, I think all actors do. Um, I think that you know, as actors, we sort of are constantly studying the human condition. I think it's why a lot of actors become therapists. Mm -hmm. um, and I and I did actually start grad school um, to become a, a licensed clinician, but. Um, decided that I wanted to get back to performing because I had taken uh, a few years off of performing. Um, so, uh, yeah, and it's something that I do plan on pursuing at, at some point um, because I, I think it would be something that I'd be good at. And, um, and it is a lot like, you know, like character studies. You have, to, you have to know something about psychology in order to, you know, sort of portray the psychology of another um, person. Absolutely. I remember. I would imagine it helps so much in character research. Yeah, definitely. Daisy, we have a, a caller on the line for you. We have um, Bob in Glendale. Hi, Bob. How are you? Hello, guys. Thanks for taking my call. Hi, Daisy. Thank you for taking the call. Hi. Uh, Daisy, I, I know that you've worked on both coasts. I heard you say that uh, there's a lot of good theater in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. I agree with that, but there's also a lot of bad theater in Los Angeles. Yeah. Uh, and the same in New York. What is your favorite? Do you like working in New York or do you like working in Los Angeles? Um, I don't know that I have a preference, although, like I said earlier in the show, I, I actually I think my favorite theater experiences have been on the West Coast. I mean, granted, they were actually La Jolla and, um, and South Coast Rep, but I consider that, you know, Los Angeles light. Um, but I, I don't know that I have a preference. I mean, I... It's different. You know, it's very different. I think that people doing theater in L.A. Um, can either be people who are really devoted to doing theater because why else would you do theater in L.A.? Or they're people who want to be, you know, seen to be on TV. And, you know, obviously you hope to work with the, the former uh, kind of cast because those are people who are really dedicated to the craft of it because um, it's a tough road to hoe in, in uh, you know, in L.A. Yeah, it's totally uh, interrupt. Yeah, There's no question about that. But uh, for some some reason, because uh, I've lived in New York, it it seems to me that uh, the theater in New York, they take it a little bit more professionally than they do in Los Angeles. I mean, there's good theater here in L.A., but for some reason, it's not taken as seriously as it. I'm talking about the general public as it is in, mm -hmm. in New York. Well, yeah, I think that L.A. is a is a TV and and film uh, town. Yeah. Um, so I think that, you know, people, I think for a lot of people who live in Los Angeles, theater is sort of an afterthought. Um, but I, you know, I, I mean, I haven't really experienced any bad audiences in terms of, you know, theater goers um, in L.A. Um, and, and, you know, the quality of production that I've seen, I mean, there's a ton of repertory theater in L.A., and, and obviously that's always hit or miss wherever you go. Sure. Um, but... But I, I've experienced the level of professionalism to be um, about the same, I'd say. I mean, I, I can't really speak for what the audiences are like. Okay, th th thanks very much. Good luck to you. Sure. Uh, Bob? Oh, I was going to ask I Bob. I was going to get a <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, you know what's funny is I think that that's the same Bob from Glendale who called in last week and won our rabbit hole ticket, so I wanted to check with him. But uh, oh. Yeah. So, Bob, if you're listening, call us back. Um, I get Maybe he's just not into the L.A. theater scene anymore. Could be. Maybe Rabbit Hole threw him over the edge. Might have been. <laughs> <laughs> so, Daisy, we have we get a lot of listeners in other areas of the country um, that are looking to come out to L.A. and, and pursue their dreams of um, getting into entertainment, that type of thing. Um, and I want to ask you, as, as we ask most of our guests, what uh, advice would you give them? What would you uh, say to them to um, help them out on their path? Um, well, I don't, I don't want to sound too uh, bitter. Um, <laughs> LA, LA is a tough place. If, if LA is the place that you choose to go, um, you know, if you choose to go to LA for theater and you're good at what you do, you actually have a, a, a good opportunity of getting work. 
because the pool is smaller um, and there is, you know, there, there is some work out there. Um, and there's some good work being done out there. Um, if you're going for TV and film, it's rough. Um, you know, I think a lot of kids um, come from small towns where they are, you know, the, the prettiest or the most good-looking guy in class, and they get to L.A., and they're, you know, unfortunately just another good-looking person because L.A. is, you know, the, the hub of, of all good-looking people. Time uh, doesn't. You know, if you agree with that kind of aesthetic. But um, so, so it's hard. You have to have a very, very firm grasp on who you are um, because people will try to knock it down. So just have, have a firm grasp and also remember the other things in life that you love to do and do them as much as possible. Daisy, real quick, our producer wants to know, where do you keep your Tony? <laughs> in my uh, dining area. Oh, okay. in Holland, uh, awesome. Next to next to my menorah and my <laughs> Yes. <laughs> to find I out uh, any information on Ghost Light Musical, visit nymf.org. That's the New York Musical Theater Film Festival. And thanks so much for coming uh, for uh, calling us up and, and talking to us, Daisy. We love you. Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. And any New Yorkers, please come see Ghost Light. It's, it's a hell of a show. We'll be back on La La Land with Brett and Ned on CRN Digital Talk. CRN listeners, is it time for a new?